Okay, so Daddy's gonna ask again. What do you guys? We know we okay. We know examples of love, right? What's a good example of love? A good example of love is like caring or compassion. So, how would you guys say what it what what do you think love is? The kindness that like God gave us, oh. and the compassion, and the. There are too many definitions. Okay. Um, well, the the Bible actually says that God is love. That's interesting, right? And it doesn't mean that like like what we call love, like we say, oh, I love you. We give somebody a Valentine's Day card, right? Or or we say, oh, wow, I love this. This cheeseburger is so good. I love it. Is that the same as like loving people? No. It means you're enjoying it, right? And you really, like you really... You might love it in a sense that you really like the taste and it's really like, wow, this is so awesome and this is so, so delicious. And it's causing my emotions to sit there and go, this is the coolest thing, right? This is wonderful. This is great. Like love can, you can feel like that same feeling with love. But if it's only for ourselves, is that love? If we do something, but we do it for us? No. No. So what do they call that when you only do something for yourself? Selfish. Selfish. So is love selfish, do you think? No. No? What about, is it is it loving when we say mean things about people? No. No. Um, is it loving when we do things that cause other people to be angry or upset? No. What about, is it loving to forgive somebody when they messed up? Yes. Yeah? Is it loving to be unkind? No. Is it loving to be kind to somebody? Yes. Okay, so we know that love is patient and love is kind, right? Yes. Um, what about if somebody does something horrible to you? Now, I, I get sometimes we might not be friends with somebody anymore because they keep messing up, right? No names, but because they keep messing up or because they do mean things to us. And we don't want to be friends but does that mean it's okay to talk bad about them? No. Does that mean it's okay to mistreat them? No. Does that mean it's okay to stay away from them? Yes. Yes. So there's that difference, right? Mm -hmm. You can still love somebody but not be around them. You can still love somebody. Uh, um, is love impatient? Does love get upset at people? No. No. Now, I know this because daddy gets impatient, right? This is when, when the Bible talks about love... It talks about how love is patient. Well, daddy messes up with that a lot, right? Because daddy gets impatient. Daddy's rushed a lot. Daddy doesn't like to wait around. Um, sometimes, even when it comes to like you girls, I'm, I'm, I get upset over things that maybe that I shouldn't get upset over, right? Or that you're not trying to do something wrong or you're not trying to delay us or upset us, but daddy still gets upset, right? Because I'm impatient. In those times, even though I love you no matter what, I'm not exercising love, right? In other words, I still love you like as a whole. Like if love is a circle, you guys are still inside the circle, but I might not be walking around in that circle. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I might just be standing still. Like my love didn't stop. We're still, you guys are still in that love. It's just that daddy at that point is, is not exercising love. And instead I'm exercising fear or impatience or anger um, but God's love is, is God's love conditional? Do you think? Does that mean God loves you only when you're good? What do you think? Does he love you all the time? Yes. Yeah. Cause if mommy and daddy can do that, then we know God can do that. Right. Right. Does God only love you when you do what's right? No. Does God still love you even if you do something wrong? Yes. Yeah. That's unconditional. A condition means... In order to, to, like, a conditional love is, like, conditional, right? Like, if you, in order to be loved, you have to do this. It's like you have to behave or I won't love you. That's messed up, right? Yeah. Now, what if I were to say I love you even when you misbehave? That is unconditional because there's no condition, right? There's no, like, with Santa Claus, there's no naughty or nice type of thing when it comes to love. When you truly love somebody. So love is, the, the Bible says love is patient and love is kind. Love is not selfish, right? Mm -hmm. it, someone that, that's truly 
loving or someone that's walking in love. I call it, I, I'll call it walking in love. Like you're actually doing this, right? Um, they're not going to sit there and try to hurt somebody, right? Mm -hmm. So what do you do when somebody hurts you? You can still love them. Mm -hmm. What else are we supposed to do that Jesus said? Do you supposed to love your enemies? And what else starts with an F? Follow oh. Oh. love. Follow love, but always love and always forgive. Forgive, right? We learned that from, from Grandma Helen, right? She taught me that a long time ago. I still am struggling to learn it and to like apply it in my own life. But that's something, yeah, that I was, that I was, it was taught to me and shown to me. So even if we're not around somebody, we can still forgive them, right? Mm -hmm. And do you know what forgiveness means? Does that mean that what they did is okay? Mm -hmm. No? Here's what forgiveness means. In, in the Bible, when it talks about God's forgiveness and you know, he says you need to forgive others and Jesus said forgive people, right? That means you take your right to judge them. So in other words, if someone took something from you or hurt you, that it's normal for us to want to hurt someone back, like, or to get angry with them, right? Mm -hmm. It's more like, you hit me, I'm going to hit you back, right? Or you took something from me, I'm angry with you, and I'm going to try to get you arrested or something, right? Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is more like, what you did is not okay. You shouldn't do it again. You don't have the right to do it, but I'm still going to love you. And I'm going to pray for you, right? You take that right that says, I can do, I can get you back. But instead, I'm going to give that right and give it to God because God is the perfect one to judge this, right? It's kind of like if you guys have an argument and you come to mom and dad to settle it, mm -hmm. right? Forgiveness is almost like us going to God and saying, Lord, here is this argument. Here is this fight. Here is this hurt that I have. I'm going to give it over to you and I'm going to choose to love and not be angry right? right like and it's okay to be angry don't get me wrong it's okay to be angry it's okay to be mad but it's what we do with those emotions that really matters right so that's a little bit about what love is and and the bible says that god is love so when we express that unconditional love that that love like if we're helping someone that that needs food or someone that doesn't have a house and you're trying to help them out Anything we do, these kindnesses towards others that we don't do for ourselves, we don't do so we can get something. Like if someone says, hey, go give that person $10 and I'll give you $100. Well, then we're doing it for the 100 right? We're not really doing it because we want to and it's out of a good heart. But when we do it out of a good heart, then that expresses the love of God to other people. Right? Right. And remember, forgiveness doesn't mean that it's okay for people to be abusive or mean or cruel or unkind. Forgiveness just means that you are not going to let their unkindness steal your love, right? They're not going to, yes. their unkindness is not going to make you unkind, right? It's not yes. going to spread. So instead of that unkindness spreading, that love stops that unkindness right in its tracks. And instead, here comes love. Do you guys remember the Johnny Appleseed cartoon, right? Um, the Lord's been good to me, right? That one? What does he plant in the ground? Does he plant does he plant uh, grape seeds and grow grapevines? No? What does he plant? What kind of seeds? Andy, you can ask. It's in the name. Johnny Appleseed. What does he put in the ground? Apple well, seeds. Apple seeds, right? And what grows out of an apple seed? What kind of tree? A apple tree. An apple tree. And then you can eat the fruit of the apple, right? So if we plant... Say, imagine if we're planting love. We're planting love in the ground and love is going to grow out of that, right? Mm -hmm. If we plant anger, what's going to grow out? Anger. And if we plant hurt and, and hurt feelings and how we want to get back at somebody, that's what's going to grow out of the ground, right? That's mm -hmm. what kind of tree is going to grow. If there was an anger tree, right? If there was a hurt tree. And one of the things I learned too from my grandma was forgiveness doesn't heal the person that hurt you. They might still have issues, right? They might still have that anger and that hurt inside of them. They may still want to do bad things. But when you forgive somebody, who do you think it heals? It heals you. It'll heal you. That's the big difference. Forgiveness doesn't make it okay, right? It doesn't mean that you have to take it. You got to take the business from everybody. No, it means you can defend yourself. It's okay to say stop. It's okay to say knock it off. It's okay to, to restrain somebody when they're trying to hurt you. 
but it's the feeling inside where you want to get back at them. That is the opposite of love. That's what we should all work on as human beings, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I love you guys.